is here, Holly. We're filming a mystery box video. Oh no. Everybody meet Harley. He's an employee at a local Pokemon card shop and he's probably the nicest dude ever. I wanted to give this man a $500 Pokemon card mystery box that I was gonna get him to pack himself. Now in order to make sure that he would pack the best possible mystery box for himself, I pretended that this mystery box was for me. So I paid for the $500 box and I gave him a quick time limit to pick out as many cool items as possible for 500 bucks and put it into a box. But what we're gonna do is open up all the product put all of the amazing pulls into an unlisted leaf binder, and then give the pulls back to him and surprise him at the end of the video. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we're officially back from Mayhem Collectibles, and we've got Harley's mystery box that he packed for himself right here. But let's have a look at what he picked out. The first one we got right here is this fantastic looking Morpigo V Union premium collection box. Now, I haven't actually seen this box before, so I was really excited when he picked this one out because I think it's a brand new release in Australia. And I was so excited because he put together a Chilling Rain ETB. I know everyone's a bit 50-50, could be chilling pain for a lot of you guys at home because you don't get too many hits. But there's that Zapdos running up the hill card which I have fallen in love with. I've never pulled it out of a booster. So I was excited when he got this because I thought today it might be the day we can pull the card. But that means Ando still wouldn't have it for his own collection. Silver Tempest Sword and Shield Booster Box. These are getting harder to find nowadays. I think Sword and Shield as a set in general is getting less and less per day. So I'm really excited we got the Silver Tempest one. Never ever have I pulled the Lugia. I've given away booster packs that have included the alternate art Lugia, but I've never pulled it myself. So today's the day. Oh yeah, Astral Radiance ETB. This one is another smash here. I love Astral Radiance as a set. A lot of pulls that go underrated. So I'm curious what's going to be in the eight booster packs right here. Oh yeah, this is, so I actually got a sneak peek of this. He's like, Ando, I went out the back and I included some extra stuff. And the best part was he was doing us a really good favor because $500 wasn't a lot of money for the ultimate mystery box he wanted to pack. So he went into his own budget and went over the amount, but only charged us $500. The best part about that was he doesn't know that he's building his own mystery box. So really he's just giving back to himself. So when I saw that he actually included, oh my goodness, this thing right here, a Charizard Ultimate Premium Box. I was like, this man doesn't even know what's about to happen. So this made my day, and then like if we get a Moonbreon or something, I couldn't even put into words. Harley's gonna lose his mind. So that was really cool what he included in there. Oh yeah, three Crown Zenith Blister Packs, which are the ones just like when you do checkouts at the supermarket or whatever. And I know what you're thinking, Ando, surely that's all the sealed stuff that Harley included in the mystery box. He actually included a little nice like set of top loaders, so just in case we get some really nice full light cards, but at the bottom, he did mention there was a couple of single cards, and I haven't, I didn't know what they were. And I've just started to see what he's included here. The man doesn't know. He's getting these back in his collection. But we've got one Rolls card right here, which is a really, really nice trainer gallery. Then we've got the Miriam Fuller card, which is just a sensational pull. Even if it's not the alternate art, got a really nice Starly. And then we've also got the Wiggler as well. A good, nice, like, couple of cards out of the brand new Scarlet and Violet set. Um, because there weren't too many Scarlet and Violet, I think, boosters available at the store. So he managed to get us a couple of really nice singles. Actually, he managed to get himself a really nice couple of singles. Let's open up some booster packs. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the very first thing I want to open up for Harley is this Charizard Ultra Premium Collection Box. If you haven't opened up a Charizard uh, Ultra Premium Collection Box, they look like this. It's all, like, magnetic. The box is really, really nice. And pretty much, once you get out the playmat, which is this thing right here, it reveals the drawers. And then you pull out one draw at a time and have a mini heart attack. Like this draw right here, it's got the sleeves, the golden dice. Yes, I said golden dice. And then the middle shelf right here with the Pokeball on it. That's where the booster packs start coming out. And let me tell you, the Pokemon company knew what they were doing. Four Fusion Strike and four Evolving Skies. And then last but not least, you got your Charizard draw, the most important one. This is where the promos and the rest of the boosters are. And the boosters in here are just as awesome. Like you got Astral Radiance right there. We got three of those. Yeah, two Lost Origin. What a weird amount. And then three Brilliant Stars. I would have preferred more Lost Origin so we could potentially get a Golden Pikachu for Harley. But we're going to take this little baggie of promos anyway, because this right here is the very start to his binder. And I probably couldn't think of a better start than like three full art Charizard cards on the front page. Look at these. These are guaranteed if you pick up this product, which is awesome. Charizard V right there. Promo number 260 is probably my favorite one, I want to say. Which one out of the three is your favorite? 
This was a lot of peoples, but I think it's gone down in hype a little bit. Charizard V Max, and then Charizard V Star. Probably a very close contender with one. But, the, like, there's a lot going on in this card. I feel like the other one's more of a wholesome Charizard card. I like the green grass. But I do like the Mewtwo battling Charizard V-Star right here. Wait a minute, did I say that there was four Evolving Skies? There's three Evolving Skies and one Vivid Voltage. That's so random. But you know what? Ando's never mad at Vivid Voltage. I will take as many as possible. Just because Almighty Chonky Chew, which basically, the chonkier the Chew, the better the pull. It's in this set, the Rainbow Rare version. That's what we're going to hunt for on the very first booster right here. Come on. I feel like as I'm opening Pokemon cards, knowing that none of the hits are going to end up in my binder, it's about to be off the charts. Or we could literally get a pile of rubbish on my first pack. You know what? The only way to uh, solve that problem, open up some Evolving Skies right now. This is uh, probably my new favorite set. I'm just... I've become obsessed with it. I've become researching it. I kind of want to do a video where I try and hunt for every card like Pat did, but... It's just looking like it's going to be an impossible task to track down that Moonbryon. I'd love to pull one more. Uh, potentially just keep it in the binder. I don't think I'll even want to get it graded. We'd just love to have a bunch of Eeveelution cards, especially the Leafeon as well would be fantastic. Or we could just go and get a regular rare Lilligant. Has anyone else, like, had tough times pulling stuff in Evolving Skies? I swear, I've opened a bunch of packs recently, off camera, on camera, and I never get anything good. Do you guys have similar luck, or is, like, I don't know, are you guys getting in insane pulls that I'm just not getting any good luck out of Evolving Skies? Because that's what it feels like, I never get anything good. Slack off? Petlil? Back on reverse? You're joking me! Come on, Rayquaza! I don't even have to get the Moonbryon. Give me the Rayquaza card, that would be just as good. You know what? I want the Leafeon just as bad as all of those anyway, so a Leafeon would be fantastic. Skiploon, Bordor, got the Sign Pole, Psyduck, Eevee with the Rayquaza sneaky in the top. Whoa, I thought that was a revert. I thought that Cutie Fly was a reverse for a second. I got so confused. Appleton, regular rare. All right, it's time to get serious. Let's open up the remaining packs. It'd be pretty funny if we got all regular rares and the only good pulls inside of this whole UPC with the uh, guaranteed promo full art cards. The moment we're not looking for stuff, I think is the moment that most things turn up. So maybe if we don't try and like predict what we're gonna get, we're just gonna have something randomly pop up and it's gonna be incredible. Ghastly, do you guys have any good superstitions when you open up Pokemon boosters? Oh my gosh, another regular rare. I'd love to know, yeah, your superstitions. Do you do like the roller coaster before every uh, booster pack where you're like, you try and like get the better pulls. Maybe you put it into the milkshake maker, you spin it around a couple times. Trust me, I don't think you could name something weird, and I haven't heard it. I've heard everything. Unlisted Leaf, good start. Maybe we should troll to, like, Harley as well. Give him just, like, a couple of pages of Unlisted Leaf energies at the end, just so he remembers who gave him the binder. Regular Ram, Mr. Mime. It's Astral Radiance O'Clock, guys. So what do we got here? Is it, I think it's a couple of them. Astral Radiance, Astral Radiance. Ah, oh, three of them. Okay, it's not too bad. It's a good sample platter. I feel like that's a good description for this box. It's a good sample platter of like Sword and Shield booster packs. Curlia, Roxanne, Hippopotamus, got the Burgemite. Come on, I'm overdue for a Are you joking me? Regular Red Thievul? Thievul's been like not only nicking all the berries, it's been nicking the good pulls out of this thing. Okay, that's reversed. I don't know what color that code card was. It swung around. That looks a lot darker, doesn't it? That darkness energy? I'm not being ironic, that literally looks like... And that card's like really miscut. I swear, if this didn't come out of the uh, completely sealed Charizard box, I would have said this is like close to fake. But you know what? It doesn't matter either way. The pulls are just as real as a real booster pack. Okay, last Astral Radiance, and then we get onto Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars is a lot of people's like new, more favorite set. I've heard a lot of hype around that one recently. So we'll go for the Arceus. All right, Golduck, everything's up to you, buddy. Come on, Boltorb, Mantine, Teddy Ursa, Heracross, Hey, His very first pull! <laughs> it's a Trainer Gallery Kingdra, and a regular rare Rapidash. Oh man, so the very first page at the moment is like three Charizards and a Kingdra Trainer Gallery. Alright, it's about to turn around, three Brilliant Stars, and to be honest, ending it on four Fusion Strike isn't the end of the world. So let's hope, even a couple of nice Rainbow Rare Trainers, <laughs> let's hope... If we don't get anything out of Brilliant Stars right now, Fusion Strike will save this box. But so far, for if you paid like retail for this box, you're not really getting the return on investment you would have hoped for. 
Okay, here's the reverse. And boom! Okay, it's starting to fill out right now. Right next to his nice trainer gallery Kingdra, you're going to have a Flygon V card. Flygon used to be one of my top 10 favorite Pokemons of all time. I think with Scarlet and Violet, um, a couple of Pokemon have like bumped that top 10 around. So I don't know if Flygon would still be my top 10 favorite of all time, but he's definitely up there. Oh, I love this unlisted leaf energy. Great start. Grotel. Guys, every time there's a leaf energy, you're going to get a good pull. Can we keep it going? Oh, okay. Can't be mad at a holo Infernape. Hopefully he needs a couple of holos to maybe trade at trade days. I'm sure since he runs the trade days down there, he'd be able to find someone to trade the Infernape with. And this is the last Brilliant Stars pack before we finish off with the Fusion Strike. And then we've gone through the entire box. Primplup, Sneasel, Corfish, Magma, Carablast Reverse. Guys, I am praying. These Fusion Strike better be the greatest thing of all time. Come on, what are we going to do? Open this up, put you to the side. <laughs> oh, Wagamama Muffins, this is not good. Lightning type, Heliolisk. Got the Chewtool, Boulder B, Meowth, Onyx, Snorlax, and Eladios. Mew. There are so many different versions of you inside of this set. Please let me know if you're going to give me one. Oh no, it's a white border again. Four from the back, good a fire type. Surely that's explaining some kind of the pulls right here. Voltorb, Pansage, Qfont, Gligar, Slugma. Oh no. Oh boys. Genesect. Espeon Fuller is like what's gonna save the box right here with two boosters remaining. Guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Black border on that code card. This could be a good sign. Got a fighting type to start things off. Toga tomorrow. Quick Ball, Snom, Onyx, Jigglypuff, Durant. What do you think? Pansia, and then... <gasps> Boom! Oh, it's Sydney Fuller card! Okay, this is good. The first Fuller of the entire box, it's a trainer. Now, I know what you're thinking, Ando. Why are you getting so excited over a trainer and prefer a Pokemon Full Art? I know for a fact, Harley loves collecting the trainers and he loves the tradeability of them. Can we do one more? Can Fusion Strike be actually a decent set and save the day right now? I'm hoping so. Okay, Gengar's on the front. Now, I hope that does mean something. Like the Full Art Gengar alternate arts in here. Oh gosh, White Border. Really? The best pull out of an entire Charizard UPC was a Sydney Full Art. Surely that's not the case. Caterpie? Eevee, Shelter, and then... I am so sorry, Harley, but that wasn't the greatest pulls for your binder, unfortunately. But you know what's gonna definitely provide the good pulls? When you got a guaranteed V Union more Pico, but you've got five Crown Zenith boosters, and Crown Zenith just has hits after hits. So not only we're gonna open up this entire box with the promos, we're also gonna open up all three of the blisters that you chucked in. So let's get all of these boosters out and let's hope for some insane luck. Oh my goodness, this V Union card's gonna look good on any binder. So we got more Pico V Union, like the title card right here. Then you got Marnie looking good in the background. Always gonna be a big crowd favorite. I think this actually sells for a little bit on eBay as well, which is pretty cool. This is the best one. If you were to get one puzzle piece, this is the one I'd want. Look at the expression. It's like a wild full art card. And they're like, okay, if you wanna play this separately, we need to have the title. So this is the title down here. I love that. That's gonna be the most random, like what is that? Pokemon card, leg. And then you've got all the uh, promo cards out of the blister packs as well. So you got all the starters and that's just a good staple to have, I think. Look at all these boosters of Crown Zenith. I am just begging at this point, it's better than the Charizard box. Arceus, if you're up there, either give me the pulls down here or just appear inside of this booster. Just give me anything, Galarian Gallery Rise. I just feel like opening this many products, we're gonna come across at least one good pull, hopefully. That's how Pokemon cards work, sure. Okay, so we got the Fire type right there, Luxio, Wulu having the time of its life, Pancharm, Snowrun, Rockruff, and then the very first booster, we're gonna get a regular rare Pangoro. Oh, I've heard good things about the blister pack, so I'm not like too worried about not getting anything. But I am a bit worried after our last opening. Okay, fourth in the back. Swing it around. Unlisted Leaf Energy. This is a good sign on the second pack. Dusclops. Got the Shinx. La Vesta. Got the Whelma. Pokeball. Oh, that's such a good hit on the first one. Okay, got a Galarian Gallery Mew. And a Hollow Volcanion. Okay, let's take both of those. This one I am stoked with. I reckon this didn't get enough love. There was so much good stuff in Crown Zenith. 
Like, check this out. All the cameos, they're all watching Mew sleep with the berry. All right, let's put those in the back. That's a really nice hit as well. But you know what? It's a nice, smooth glaring gallery. We're looking for some tough texture right here. Sw oh, this is good. I think there's something in the back as well. Fighting tight, Ultra Ball, Luxio, got the Wulu, Shinx, Pancham, got the Rock Rock. <gasps> Two, in okay, this is good, back to back. And a Zerud Hollow. Look at this, Lapras. I wonder how much Crown Zenith Harley actually has. If not too many, this is really good news. I mean, since Zamazenta and Zacian are on the front of these packs, maybe we should be trying to track those cards down as well. What's your favorite Crown Zenith pull that you got? And what's a card you're still looking for? Because I'm sure everyone's still collecting it. I speak to a lot of people. This is like their go-to set to try and collect and complete. Oh, regular rare. It's a nice set though, I do like it. I think if you were to, if I was to recommend a set recently, it's either the brand new Scarlet and Violet or it is Crown Zenith. Because I had so much fun trying to build out that binder. It's one of my favorite videos to record, completing the whole set in 24 hours. Tangela, Baltoy, Meowth, Whalma, got the Shinx, and then Tangrowth Regular Rare. Oh snap. It's surely building up to something rather here. At minimum, at least we've got the more Pico V Union. Not Oh my, what the flip happened there? It's a square cut. No way, look at that. That was, you saw that. That was out of the box. That's like a square cut, but then it was bent upwards like that. What is this? Friends of Sinnoh. No way. So we got a square cut bent card. That's really peculiar. I don't know what number that was. I reckon that was like two or three from the back. Let's find out. Tracking shoes. Keep your eyes peeled for square cut ends right here. Pancham, switch, snow run. Oh, okay, this is good. Love Vesta. Gale oh no way! Galarian Gallery. And it's gonna be a Rotom V Star. They both look fine though, I think. Okay. Lightning type looks okay. Got the Galarian Gallery Magmortar, which looks fine. Yep, no uh, square cut, no bent ends, and then a Rotom V Star. I can definitely feel the pack opening heating up right now. Okay, let's take those two, put them at the back with our Lapras, and let's keep it moving. Imagine we go and get like gold card. That would be just the icing on the cake if we can nab one of those. Oh, Unlisted Leaf. If we're going to do it, it's going to be on this pack for sure. Lunatone, Rescue Carrier. Got the Cherubee. Got the Energy Retrieval. Amolga. Oh, that is such a good hit. Suicune, Full Art, and a Leafeon V card. What a combo. Oh my, I'm so psyched. That's going to be one of our best pulls yet. Suicune, Full Art card from the Galarian Gallery. Oh, this is going to be a good binder. Okay, Suicune, Full Art. Put you at the back. One of my favorite legendary dogs. And Leafeon V. Double cheeseburger and everything. There's the uh, code card. Let's go for. And let's get more of those puppies. And it's definitely possible because I think those might have been out of the blisters. Or it could have been out of the more Pico box. But either way, they switch over. And all the like ratios sort of reset again. Leon with the autograph. I love those cards. We'll put that one in the back too. You guys smell that? It smells like a fuller card inbound. Okay, let's go four. What, was that a different color? It seemed like a little bit of a different color. I don't know. Okay, swing you around. We got a psychic. I'm just on edge after I saw that weirdly like square or like pointy edged card. So strange. Love disc. Volcanion. Hey, leafy on again. This time it's the V Star version. Getting a nice like good cross section of these V Stars and full art glaring gallery cards. Man, I reckon Leafeon's my favorite evolution. I keep saying that because I've been committed to Umbreon for like so long, but the more I see Leafeon, the more I'm thinking Leafeon might be my favorite. Is anyone else's favorite like evolution Leafeon? And let me know why, because I'd love some reasons and maybe they'll push me over the edge to formally move on from Umbreon, which would be such a tough task. But as a Pokemon card collector, I think it's always changing. Pancham, hey, that's a nice looking Dunsparce. Multiple Dunspar. Is that how you say it? We got multiple Dunspar on one card and BD. Four boosters remaining. It's been pretty decent, but I reckon I can try and hope for one more crazy, crazy pull. Swinging around, got a fighting type. Luxio, trekking shoes, lost vacuum. Amolga, Yanma. I really want a gold card for him. That would just make my day. Got the Dustbuster 6000 and the Luxray. Luxray's looking so bored. Third to last pack. Giratina. I don't even care. You know what? Just give me Dialga, Palkia, one of the lower end ones. That's fine as well. Oh, Energy Switch, Trekking Shoes, Lunatone. Got the Purloin, Grubbin, and regular rare Young Mega. Second to last booster right here. 
Crown Zenith. We don't have any more Crown Zenith packs. So this is our last chance to get something good in this uh, in this whole set, really. Water type. Soul Rock. Got the Luxio. What was that? Wulu Upside Down, my favorite. Got the Pan Charm. Snow Run. <gasps> yes, that's a good one. Okay, I thought that was like, I thought there was a regular V for a second. Nah, this is really good. Pikachu. It's not as expensive as it was when the set was like really, really brand new. Everyone wanted this card because it's got texture. Can you see it? Maybe you can see it in the light. That always like textures really, really like uh, deep as well. I love it. That's a great pull. Okay, let's take out Pikachu with all the other Pokemon around here too. And Zacian looks really nice. And let's go. <laughs> for our final Crown Zenith pack. Pikachu pulls good, but we can do even better. Sassian, Zamazenta, I'm really believing you. Gold card pull. What are you thinking? Swing it around. Here's that code for Harley's ultimate binder. Darkness, Crocorock, Luxio, Friends in Hasui, and, oh, okay, this is okay, and, Oh, it's a hop autograph. We got a couple of autograph cards, didn't we? Soul Rock Galarian Gallery. Alrighty, guys. Now we've got a Chilling Pain ETB. And I don't know why there's so much beef with this set. Because let's forget about my favorite card, Galarian Zapdos. Let's think about the Blaziken you can get inside this puppy. But I also have been told, because I think I just bang on about my Zapdos so much, that the Moltres is actually the most expensive one. Poor Articuno really got shafted in this set. No one seems to care about him. And it's funny because that's probably the one I've pulled the most of. But apparently, we got to be going for the Moltres card. Honey, imp uh, Impact Energy, Cast Form, Sobble. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't tell me if I get Moltres on this one, I'm pooping my pants. Hey, it's, you know what? Tornadus. Close enough. One of my favorite Pokemon ever. I may have thought we pulled uh, Moltres just looking at this crimson red down here and the white here. I'm getting too into it. I'm getting too into this video, guys. <laughs> I just enjoy opening Pokemon cards. Doesn't even have to be for my binder. You to the side. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate this set just because of the code cards. It's so glaringly obvious when you get an absolute poo. Okay, so we got Rugged Helmet, Casform, Larvesta, Sobble, Ladybug, and Aralt. With a Malamar coming through as our regular rare. Fourth to last, which means, yep, here we go. White and green, and we're officially halfway through this thing. Water type to start things off. And we got Old Cemetery, Sobble, Inke, Squovert. Good start. Score Bunny, Diglett, Sentiny, and a Hollow Rapid Strike Urshifu. Look, it's your buddy, bro. Holy smokes, it's you on the Pokemon card. Okay, another Hollow put you at the back. Third to last booster. Zapdos that apparently no one wants besides Ando. Oh, guys, this might... The pull rates for this are just nuts. Surpuff, regular rare. Now it's Moltres time. Surely we don't get a solid green on the last booster of this ETB. Thank goodness. Okay, green and white code guard. Four from the back. Texture card, texture card, texture card. Melanie, Sphil. Got the Swirlix, Cast Form, Cast Form again, Hatsana, and a Zerora V card. Let's hope the next ETB can be a little bit better. Alrighty guys, the next ETB is an Astral Radiance right here. And pretty much there's one card that everyone really wants out of this. They always comment when they see it in my binder. It's this dude right here, the Incredible Hulk. He's got a Pokemon card, everyone wants it. It is the most popular, most expensive, most exciting card in the whole set. I think the other cards that people were really wanting out of this thing, um, it's Alterna Art Palkia, which is this one right here. I remember pulling that in one of my first booster boxes. I really do like that art because it's a play on an, a really old and like popular painting, but again, no one seemed to care too much, and the Dialga as well. The Beedrill card, I hate Beedrill because I always get Beedrill regular rares whenever there is a Beedrill regular rare, but it's a nice full art card, so we might have to go for that one. But yeah. Oh, yes, Melanie! I'll take a full art trainer, as I mentioned, Miss Magius regular rare. Heck yes! Already this ETB is going off. Maybe uh, Hartley's missing a Melanie, and it's got the Ultra Ball on there, which looks gorgeous. Now I wonder, do you think that like full art card took our slot as the good stuff coming out of an ETB? Got a fire type, Magneton, got the Togetic, Magnemite, Ralts, got the Sneasel, Barboach, Registeel, Mariana, 
Regular rare. What other artworks do we have? We got like, the, oh yeah, the Hasuian uh, Decidueye. That would be pretty cool. A lot of Palkias and Dialga artworks too. Let's go for maybe a Decidueye art. Maybe that's what we're missing. Good variety and spice of life. There's the code card. Four from the back, swing it around. We got the unlisted leaf. Crania Dose. Pilo Swine. Choi. Rolts. Sneasel. Got the Barboach. Scyther. Electrode. Reggie Lecky. Oh, guys, this ETB has been like heaps of regular rares. We're down to the final three right here. The Melanie was not enough. Oh, that's a good sign, isn't it? Black Border. Okay, all right. Fighting type. Oh, I reckon it might be Texture too, which would be fantastic. Psyduck, Drifloon, Sudowoodo. Oh, it's a Dialga. That's okay. We're going to add a Dialga to it for sure. Two boosters remaining, and then we're taking the uh, Silver Tempest box to Mayhem. And Harley is going to literally open up some packs himself and not know he's finishing off his collection, which is going to be so exciting. So let's open up our final two right here, and then we'll put together that binder and drive back down there with our booster box. Eevee, Heracross, Teddy Ursa, Rapidash. All right, it's Palkia. Our final pack that we get to open. I'm going to say the pools have been all over the shop, to be dead honest. Ball from the back. We got a lightning type right here. Dartrix, Drift Blim, Dark Patch, Mantine, Scyther. Come on, Voltorb. Got a Quillfish. But before we head down to the local card shop, we had to build out Harley's binder with all the cards we pulled out of the boxes that we opened up. Now, I'll show you guys a proper HD look once we've cracked open the Silver Tempest as well. I also wrote a little message inside the binder, make it a bit more personable. And then, I don't know if you remember, but Harley pointed out he really liked the playmat. So we're going to give him that as well. So I put together the booster box, the playmat, and the binder, and we headed down to the card store. Now, once we got to the card shop, Harley and a bunch of other Mayhem customers, they helped me open up the Silver Tempest booster box, and inside was ridiculous luck. I'm talking a Lugia V-Star, a beautiful Rainbow Rare Unknown, Golden Dorilodon V-Max, and a Blazik and Alterna Art. I'm not even joking. So once that was all done, we filled up the binder with the remaining cards, and it was time to give Harley the $500 mystery binder as a surprise. All right, well, we got this binder right here, and as you probably remember... This one has all the hits that we got out of every product I opened up out of the $500 yeah. mystery box, alright? That's it. We'll yeah, so we'll be able to put all those into this binder. But the trick of the whole mystery box is we wanted to give you every hit that we pulled. So you're building that box for yourself. Oh, really? And this entire thing's all yours. So every hit that we managed to get, that's uh, that's your brand new binder and you get all these cards as well. Oh, thanks, Ed. So that's yours for the channel. I'm Chris. Just yeah. to say thank you for thank all the trades we're doing. My man right here. And there we have it, guys. That right there was Harley's magical binder that he actually kind of built himself. He ended up telling us his favorite pull out of everything in this binder. I think mine might be the Suicune or the Rainbow Rare Unknown, but his favorite was the Pikachu at the front from Crown Zenith. I love that more Pico V Union's got its own page. And we did so well out of that Silver Tempest booster box. I really think it saved the binder, to be honest. Like, these pulls are absolutely sensational. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Hope you have a fantastic day. But most of all, gonna keep on gaming. Until the next awesome Unlisted Leaf video, I'll see you then.